Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. I've always wanted to be able to put a pin in a router spindle and draw things with the machine. We can do that now, and I'm going to show you how. You would think the obvious solution would be just simply put a pin in a tool holder and put it in the machine and let the machine draw the lines. Well, the problem is the tip on the pin deforms and you don't get consistent results. So you need some system that lets the tip of that pin float so that it keeps constant pressure. That's what our marker pin attachment option does. Let me show you how that works. This is what the marker pin attachment looks like. It's actually an aluminum body here. Uh, this fits into the a collet, and then the pin fits in here, the marker, and then it actually has a spring inside, and that's what makes it float. And then when you take the tip off of there, there's, there's the pin itself, and, and you have different adapters based on the size of the actual pin itself. So that's how the system works. Now let's take a look at how we set this up in VCAR Pro. First off, let's look at the job. The material's 15 by 15. It's three quarters thick. We're touching off to the top of the surface, which means then we bring the pin down to the top of the surface and that becomes Z0. Okay, and the lower left corner is the origin. All right, now we need to de define the tool itself. So I created a tool for a pin and here's what it looks like. And most of it doesn't matter. I said, okay, it's an end mill. I named it. Uh, I said it's an eighth of an inch. Once again, it doesn't matter. Flutes don't matter. None of this matters. What matters is the feed rate and the plunge rate, that's all that matters, all right? And now let's open up, let's open up a tool path and I'll show you how we do it. So basically, we select the logo, all right? Now, the cut depth is how much it's gonna preload. So basically what happens is um, that tool goes down an eighth of an inch and, and that basically pushes the spring back up. So that's, that's where the float comes from. There's our pin. We're cutting all just on the center line, no big deal. No lead-ins, no lead that's nothing else. And we hit calculate. And that's gonna look like it's an eighth of an inch tool, but that looks pretty good, okay? So that's the first thing. So that was just simply a logo. Now, let's say uh, I wanted to show you how you could download stuff. So I actually downloaded a graphic that I bought. I said made in the USA, it was an EPS. EPS is it encapsulated postscript. It, EPS files always have lines on them, the vectors, and I need the vectors to machine it. So that's what this is. So now let's just open this back up and let's hold the shift key down and select this and tool path it. And we'll reset that and there's what it looks like. Perfect. Now I wanted to do one more thing and I wanted to actually create uh, a router bob signature so that's what this is. And what I did was I came over here, it's actually, it's actually text. So I came over here and I, I found a font that looked pretty good, it's a Vladimir script. So I said, okay, and then I sized it the way I want it, rotated it, so I wrote router bob 21. Now let's open this back up and we'll add that into the selection. And we'll hit calculate and we'll reset that. And that's what it's gonna look like, all right? So that's all that's required for this. Now, let's take this over to the machine. But before we do that, there's one other thing that you need to understand is you can't turn the, you can't turn the spindle on. So an easy way to handle that is if we go to a post processor, there's actually a post called Shop Saber Arcs that does not turn the spindle on. So you want to output with that. So we'll create that. And then that gets saved and I will override it. And, and now we're ready to go to the machine.
our marker pen demo came out really nice and it's really made me think about some other things. What if you were doing melamine cabinets and you wanted to label the cabinet parts? You use an erasable pen and when the cabinets are assembled then, you can erase it. There's so many things you can do and this attachment is very affordable so it's something almost anybody could add to their machine. It has a lot of capability. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.